Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the top five tweaks to get your device faster. So you're going to need a jailbreak for it, all of these things that I'm about to show you. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to show you is actually a tweak called OS Lite 8. So OS Lite 8 basically clears all your temporary cache folders and artwork folders to give you a smoother experience. It more saves your storage and not like improves your device performance, but still works. So as you can see right here, you can choose to clean temporary folders, clean cache folders, and clean the artwork files. Or you could just click clean all above and it'll clean all of the things right over here. This tweak is similar to iCleaner except it's free and it doesn't do as much, but it's still pretty useful. Next week to speed up performance is called Speed Intensifier. Now this basically speeds up your animations. It doesn't really speed up your device in general, just the animations seem a little bit faster. So as you can see, things are a lot faster if you tap on them, for example. And an alternative to this would be called No Slow Animations, although I'm not sure it works for this iOS yet, so we'll see if it comes out. Um, I'll update you in the description if it does come out and it actually works. Anyway, the next thing I actually have is called iCleaner. Now, a lot of people probably know about this, and all it does is basically clean a lot of things. So you can choose, you can choose all these options here, and then just select each option you want, and then just click clean up here. And they actually recently updated iCleaner, so it actually has a better interface. As you can see, you can also see what it's doing down here. And all you have to do is just wait a little bit. It doesn't take long, less than like three minutes usually, so it should be pretty quick to clean up everything. And once it's done, it's gonna tell you how much space it cleared, how many files it deleted, and then it's gonna ask you to respring. So just click yes to respring, and your device is just gonna respring right after. The next tweak you can use to speed up your device is called Spotlight Be Gone. So Spotlight Be Gone basically removes all of the spotlight traces on your uh, on your iOS. So if I go down like this, it doesn't open Spotlight. If I do this, it doesn't open the new Spotlight window. And this is a free tweak that can basically just speed up your device. And the reason it speeds up your device is because Spotlight actually uses some system resources to search for things in the background sometimes. And this may slow down your CPU performance. So this actually does help a lot and just disables it so you don't have to worry about any data being used in the background because of Spotlight and the new slide over feature and anything like that, so it's pretty cool. And the final tweak I'm about to show you, it's kind of a replacement for a feature that Apple just added to iOS, which is the low power mode. This basically uh, saves your battery by minimizing CPU usage and preventing network access, slowing down everything basically, um, and doing uh, better standbys and things. But the thing that is bad about it is your device slows down. Nobody wants a slow device. So there's an alternative to the low power mode that actually works when your device is off. And it's called Bat Saver. What Bat Saver does is basically turn off your Wi Fi and LTE slash data antennas during uh, standby. So when once your phone is locked, it actually just turns off all your data. So there's a couple options here. So there's none, so it doesn't actually do anything. There's iMessage friendly. Uh, so it basically disables everything but edge or data. And then normal disables radios with device. Aggressive is what I have. And it's just normal and disables Wi Fi. Ultimate. Yeah, it's <laughs> ultimate is kind of useless, but it's only if you have to, you know, save your battery for a long time. And that's radios must be enabled manually. And custom, you can just basically choose from a set of settings, which you can go here into settings. And there's a lot of things like low power mode. Um, and I do recommend turning on this thing that says remove status icon. Uh, Bad Saver actually, uh, when you install it, shows that little icon up there in the status bar. It's kind of annoying, so make sure you enable that to disable that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the top 5 tweaks to enhance your iOS device performance. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.